In today's video, I'm going to show you how to take content center libraries that reside on your desktop and install them on the Autodesk Vault server that you might be using. Now, why would we want to use the content center libraries from a Vault server? You might have two or three or four different uh, users and you want them to access the same content. Also, it drives down the amount of space that you're using across your uh, sort of IT infrastructure uh, because you don't have all the content center libraries sitting individually on everyone's PC they are coming from the Vault server. So that's one installation uh, shared within two, three, ten people. So first of all, let's take a look at where do we find the content center files. So if I'm in an assembly, uh, assembly component, click on place, place from content center. <clears throat> and what you'll see is these are all my content center files over here. Now, if I go to, let's see, not that one, say ghost. Uh, let's go to our fasteners. Pins. Okay, you'll see there I've got BS and CSN and IS. So I've got a whole bunch of different standards that I can pull from. Now, how do I know that I'm pulling from my desktop content? I click on the Tools tab, Application Options, go to the Content Center folder, and you'll see there Invented Desktop Content. Now, if I want to pull the Content Center from my, my Vault server, just click on Autodesk Vault Server, select OK, and click on OK at the bottom here. Now, if I go through to my place from content center, first of all, it'll ask me to log into the vault. Okay. If I haven't logged in already, and then it takes a look and see what I've got in there. So at the moment, you'll see there a whole bunch of stuff has disappeared and I've only got my DIN content. And that is because if I look in my data management server, the under libraries, you'll see they only invented, invented DIN. Okay. So how do we go and get those? So first of all, we need to go to our Autodesk account, all products and services, and then I can go to my Vault. If I'm going to Vault Basics, so click on Vault Basic Server, um, or Vault Professional, which is the professional client, but both have the same content, so I can go to either or. Now, once there, I go to View Details, <clears throat> and if I go to the bottom, you'll see there I've got Updates and Libraries. Now, in my libraries, you'll see I've got all these remote content libraries, DIN, Feature, Mold, Metric, Ghost, JS, GB, Sheet Metal, etc. Now, I want the Inventor ISO standard, so I can go and download that over there. Once downloaded, um, I've just saved it on my desktop over here. You'll see a, a, a file over here, inventoriso.exe. So what I'm going to do over there is I'm just going to go and double click on it to activate. It extracts it. And this is the usual Autodesk installation dialog box you will see. And when you're ready, you can click on install. Once it goes through the installation process, we'll give you the finalizing inventor remote content center library. And once done finish, I can go to where the files have been saved. So those files were saved. Uh, if you go to the your local desktop, you'll see there you've got um, the content center library over there. And you'll see content center li content library setup.exe, inventor ISO, and your setup.pat. Now if I had to go download another one, so the JIS or the GB standards, it will then put a, an, a you know zipped folders for all those for all of those, and make sure that your Vault server is or the Data Manager server is not open. I'm just going to go finish there, and <clears throat> what I can do is just double click on that setup.bat, and then what it looks at is for all the different uh, zipped folders or the different standards, and then it will extract those and it will then um, install and migrate it into your Autodesk vault. Another little pop-up window will come up, importing AI 2024 Inventor ISO library. And it will also give you a progress bar of, um, you know, what's been imported. So it's 0 of 1. As I said, if I had the JIS, the GB would be 0 of 2 or 0 of 3 or 0 of 4. Okay, so it's done over here. So now what we're going to do is let's go and open up our data management server just to make sure that the library is there. And once that is open, 
we should be able to go to our libraries folder and you'll see there I now I've got the additional inventor ISO. Okay, so let's go back to Inventor and see if we've actually got access to that. So if I now go to my place from Content Center, you'll see over there it's not showing anything. So I can just click on Refresh and it places all my ISO components as well. So there we go. So if you are working in a, an environment where there's more than one designer, they're not sitting in the same location and you are using the Autodesk Vault, then what I would suggest doing is going to your Autodesk account, downloading the remote content, and then installing it on your Vault server. Thanks very much for watching.